Well, it really could be one of the most daring feats in space exploration history. Yes, today, the European Space Agency is landing a tiny spacecraft on a comet 300 million miles from Earth. You can imagine the comet is moving at a pretty good clip. Here now, ABC's Josh Haskell. Everything is exciting about Rosetta, really. A comet made of ice and dust is moving at 41,000 miles per hour through space. On its tail, the Rosetta probe belonging to the European Space Agency. It's been on a 10-year mission to make contact with the comet in just hours. I remember reading about it when it launched and uh, the arrival date was so far in the future and now it's so exciting that we're actually getting there. If successful, this would be our first chance to really understand comets and learn what conditions were like when the Earth first formed. The comet is four and a half billion years old. Nobody's ever tried to land on a body of this kind with material flowing away, with gravity that changes all over the place. So it's almost impossible to really estimate the chances, but it's risky. It's, it's certainly not guaranteed, but everybody for years has planned extraordinarily well to get the technology right. This morning, the Rosetta probe will launch a 220-pound mini lander towards the comet. The trick will be for the lander to find a smooth area without rocks or a slope. Once contact is made, two harpoons will be fired into the comet along with screws to secure the lander. Even actor William Shatner, who played Star Trek Captain James Kirk, is following the mission. Good luck, Rosetta. I am so excited and I wish you such good luck. Spacecraft have been purposely smashed into the surface of comets before, but a landing has never been attempted. What makes things more difficult is the comet is shaped like a rubber duck, Rena and TJ. <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> oh boy. So this is pretty spectacular though. When will we know that this is mission accomplished? Well, we expect the comet or the probe to land just after 10 a.m. on the comet. Then it will take another hour for those results to come back to Earth. So around 11 a.m. we should know if the probe hit its target. Okay. So it won't go quack. Oh, Rain. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. I know you couldn't help yourself. Couldn't help right. myself. <laughs> I'm right. Josh Haskell, thank you so much.